Hello everyone. So I really wanted to show some of my plants because they are doing really very good. So it's currently very very cold winter time. It's starting of the new year. So happy new year. May this year will be more green. So the plants that I will be sharing, they have different texture, different color, different shapes, and I am so proud of them because. The temperature is minimum around four to uh, six degrees, and maximum it's just reaching eighteen degrees to seventeen degrees, and they are thriving. I am daily missing them. I am trying to get rid of dust as much as possible because uh, my space is in front of the road. If you love plants, or if you are building your collection, you. Might be very interested in this plant. So this is Monstera adansoni eye, and recently it has started to pick up, and it has beautiful fenestration. So it was a very small plant when I uh, got it, and I tried to um, like put it in shade with good fertilizer, and it was like really not doing well during summer time, during autumn, but. in extreme winters it is pushing out new leaves left and right and yeah i have put plants in small containers because the root size is very small and if i put them in big containers or big planters then there's a huge possibility of root rot and uh, i will be soon adding some support but yeah she is doing really really well and she looks beautiful i try not to put it in sun because it recently got this uh, like leaf burn this is the old leaf it has some white paint on it uh, so ye aise hi tha jo mujhe mila tha and yeah she is gorgeous she looks very very nice and super cool i love it i hope you are appreciating the clips of natural light because i'm sitting indoors because of traffic noise and the next plant is rattlesnake calithia oh my god look at this beauty dude look look at the shape like and she was like this when i bought it i hope you have seen the plant haul the marks are so pretty like nature is so cool i i get so excited when i see different looking plants and uh, it is a hardy plant for my place because it hasn't shown any stress or any droopiness when i planted it it it's like a very solid plant i have placed most of the plants in indirect light or uh, like uh, in the front of my house there's a little bit um, space where i have put perennial plants or bigger plants uh, with a green net so that's how i put my plants but she is a diva so plants make me very happy and try to add plants if you are a beginner add plants to your collection even if you are living in small space or a small apartment is what i want to say because they make you feel alive and fresh and who doesn't want it especially in this stressful life okay coming to the new plant now i never saw this uh, these mostly okay all of these are i call them fancy plants or online plants because when i grew up i never actually saw them um so this is singonium venlandii and the good part about it is is actually very surprising because i found this thing many many months later and i tell you what so i was watering it and the sun was directly falling on the leaves and the leaves started to reflect and then i noticed very carefully it has velvety coat on it that lit that little bit shines and it looks super cool and mujhe baat bahut mahino baad pata chali but she is thriving she loves moisture she loves to be like in the wet soil and she is doing good she loves shade the next one is zanadu and she wants to be seen and she is pushing out a new leaf too Uh, the golden one also looks very nice i don't have it but i have seen some pics and yeah i might add a stake or something 
no but she wants to be seen okay she wants to like widen up and i like to add this plant whenever i cook and shoot videos because she she just adds good texture good like good um prop to your clips she has very small root and uh, she will do really good in small containers uh, again loves moisture all these plants love moisture uh, which is little bit hard to maintain because uh, i live in north india and temperature fluctuates so badly the leaves do become very large when they get desirable moisture now i am someone who doesn't like to add humidifier for my plants or even for myself because the weather have become sometimes really very dry to the point that skin starts feeling very cracky very very dry but i like to push plants uh to the level so that they adapt in the variable temperature with changes she is a diva what to call anything else yeah she is a diva she wants to be seen because the stems go here and there love it the last one is watermelon peperomia look so pretty uh, this is the second part uh, this is the second plant oh my god i can't talk because of my braces anyway she is pushing out new leaves she is doing really well okay i don't know why it has started to get curly up oh, oh, she is so fragile oh my god did i just break it uh, anyways I, i this is the second plant and the first plant which i bought online got mushy and that didn't make it i tried to propagate the leaves but yeah i have failed miserably i haven't Uh, succeeded in propagating begonia leaves too i really want to propagate watermelon peperomia because i don't want to lose it i don't want it to die because she is absolutely beautiful like the leaves are very thick uh, and i have uh, like cut some leaves edges because they got damaged she is pushing out new leaves which i am so proud of because Yeah I'm so excited for spring season. So these were the plants that I wanted to share as of now. I will be soon doing another video about plants in basket. That would be really cool because one of my friend is doing it really very great. There's a huge climate change on our head so adding green will definitely help everyone. Not just you but environment and wildlife too and uh, That's all in this video. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I will meet you in the next video. Bye.